Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we're talking about pocket knives. And for nearly 25 years, I have carried a pocket knife on me every single day. I use it as a tool, not as a weapon. And for like, I don't know, the last 10, 12 years, I've been carrying a Kershaw knife. I saw it at Walmart, I liked it, I picked it up. And it had open assist when I first got it, which means you kind of just push on the back lever here and it would snap open. But a couple years into it, it stopped working. So we're gonna see if we can take it apart today and uh, get that fixed. So here's my knife. I believe this is like a scallion or a chive. I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't actually say it on there. Uh, the model number is 1620 Hotel 3. It's definitely seen some use. I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually a lock in the end here. And you can see that the blade is actually too short to, actually, to engage that lock anymore. And so I did take it apart several months ago to see if I could determine the problem. And I actually found the torsion bar in there and it was broken into two pieces. So I tried looking online to see if I could find one when I would think about it. Uh, it just kind of slipped my mind from time to time and just kind of come in and out. And for some reason, it dawned on me to see if I could contact Kershaw. I don't know why I didn't think of that to begin with, but I entered my information into the website and then they shipped me out a replacement torsion bar. Now the question is, is uh, can I remember how this goes into the knife since it's been a little while since I've taken it apart? So I have a bit set that looks like this. I picked it up on Amazon several years ago. I don't know, it, it might have been like $12. But the smallest it goes down to is a T8 Torx bit, which is the big screw right here, but these little screws are actually smaller than that. So I have this guy from that I got from Lowe's, it's Cobalt, which is Lowe's brand, and it does have some smaller Torx bits in it. And it looks like it is a T7. Never mind, the T6 fits better. All right, we got the three screws out. Part now. Oops. Goes. Okay, so now, like I said, the problem is, is remembering how this goes on in here. I think it's gonna lay in here something like that. We're gonna see if we can get this cleaned up first. It's kinda gross. I mean, it's in my pocket every day. keep having the urge to grab my knife and to scrape some of this harder stuff off. All right, I'm pretty happy with how clean it is now. And we can figure out how this uh, torsion bar goes back in there. Fairly certain it goes in just like that. And one of the things I'm gonna do, since I have it apart, I'm gonna go ahead and put some lube in here. I like to use frog lube. This is what I use for my pew pews. And since I have it, this is what I'm gonna use. Kind of like a paste, and then it kind of liquefies as you use it. Uh, I like using a brush to, to put it in. This is just a paintbrush. And then, I don't know if you can see that, one of the points is sticking up right there, and then the other one is in this U-shaped groove right there. So there's a tiny little hole in the blade, and we got a line hook up into that, make sure that the blade is facing the right way. All right, we gotta put it back together. Gotta make sure that you don't over tighten this screw right here. We can just 
push on this back little tab right here with our finger. And it pops open. So I guess that's it for this video. It feels good to have a working knife again. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I hope it helps somebody out there maybe fix their Kershaw knife or one similar to it. And uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.